Welcome to New Eridu! Today I'll be going over all the things that you need to know before playing Zinla Zone Zero. So if you like content like this, then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more Zinla Zone Zero videos. Okay, so once you're in the game, it will play through the first story cutscene and dialogue with some easy tutorials to get you into the game. Once you're done with the tutorials, before continuing the main story, it will want you to level up your internaut level. This is your account level, like your trailblaze level or adventure rank. You can level up your internaut level by completing side missions or commissions, and there's a couple ways to do these. You can accept commissions on the internaut bulletin board, or by talking to NPCs in the town. To complete these commissions, you'll need to go to the Hollow Deep Dive system, or HDD for short, inside your store at the computers. These side missions can be exploration or combat commissions and will be accessed through the HDD. Just select the mission that you want to do and you'll be thrust into the according hollow to complete. Now, they have changed a lot of the HDD system and there's a lot less uh, TV puzzles in most of the missions except for the exploration missions, which will have them every time. The rally commissions are like instant battles and you won't need to go through the TVs to complete them. Easy! Now, there are some mechanics of the TV system that you should really know about, especially going to try out more in-game content like Hollow Zero, which is like Zenless's version of the Sim Uni or the Spiral Abyss. Outside of Hollow Zero or harder combat, you won't need to worry too much about the pressure, especially if you enjoy hard combat, but do keep an eye out on the pressure while you're in the TVs. As you traverse through each TV, you will accumulate pressure. Once the pressure hits 100%, you'll get one stack of corruption, which maxes out at five corruptions. You'll have some time before you get max corruption. But once you do hit max corruption, your characters or agents will start to lose HP. So keep an eye out and stay safe in those hollows, proxies. While going through the TVs, you'll pick up blessings called Rizonias. These are like the blessings in the simulated universe. They will give you buffs for your team. If you get more of the same Rizonia types, they will resonate and become a fusion Rizonia, giving your team an extra strong buff. You don't have to 100% the TVs, but if you do, you'll get better rewards and more XP. Oh, and if you want a detailed breakdown or guide of Hollow Zero, or just a deeper breakdown of the TV system in general, then go check out Azrael Vanity's video on YouTube. He's a great Zinla Zone Zero creator and a very good friend of mine, so please go give him some love and please subscribe to his channel. Now, we've talked about in-game Hollow Zero, but I definitely recommend finishing most of the main story commissions before attempting it. I say this because the main story commissions will help you unlock all the shops and stores in town, and these shops are crucial for team building and upgrading your characters and their gear. Enzo, over at the Turbo Remodeling Shop, offers Bangboo chips in exchange for Bangboo system widgets which just means this is where you can get all your Bang Boo upgrades. After finishing the No Guts, No Glory commission, Turbo will unlock and allow you to upgrade and modify your Bang Boos. The Bardic Needle Store is a music store run by Mommy, I, I mean Elfie, and you can use a plating agent in the music store to tune drive discs that can improve agent combat abilities. Drive discs are basically like your artifacts or relics. Elfie can also help you dismantle any drive discs that you don't need at the store and recycle the materials. The more you level up your internet level, the more advanced disc drives you can obtain here. Susie, over at Box Galaxy, is where you can buy W engines or even recycle the ones that you don't need. W engines are basically the character's weapon or like their light cone from Star Rail. Depending on the W engine you're getting, you'll need to submit some extra materials along with your dinnies. Located in 6th Street, the 141 convenience store is where you can purchase skill upgrade materials using Denny's. Waterfall Soup is a noodle shop in 6th Street. Eating here will give the proxies buffs that can last for a few battles. In addition, these buffs can also have a chance to give stat bonuses. The Cough Cafe sells coffee that restores your battery charge by 60 and grants various types of buffs as well. Keep in mind that you can only drink one cup per day. The battery charge is basically your stamina or trailblaze power from Honkai Star Rail. 
The Signal Shop can be accessed via the Signal Search screen in the menu. Here you can spin residual signals and innies to get various upgrade materials, agents, W engines, bang boos, and even extra banner pools. Residual signals and innies are obtained as you make pulls on the signal search banners, which makes the signal shop an extra resource for valuable items. However, most items do have a limited stock that refreshes every month, just like the star glitter. And we can't forget about our best boy, Howl! You can check out the City News for a quick rundown on the big events happening in New Eridu. Meanwhile, the newsstand also has a daily scratch card that lets you try your luck at getting a reward for yourself. You can also get film here too if you're lucky. Speaking of best boys, we have one of our own Bang Boos working the front of our store at Random Play. Wait, do we really have to work a day job in a gotcha game? Our best little Bang Boo takes care of the store while we do our proxy business, so don't fret. This is where people can come to rent movies and give us all their dinnies. But there is a lot more to this store than you might think. After entering the workshop, you will find the archive or workbench to your right. You can view the proxy handbook, partner files, obtained intelligence, and holo codex here. The proxy handbook is detailed explanations of different functions, including but not limited to important city info, combat techniques, and gameplay tutorials. Partner files, which is basic information and trust of the agents you have established relationships with. Basically, how affectionate or how friendly you are with your agents. Intelligence is the information on clues collected from inside the hollows. The hollow codex is the rezonias that you've collected and special events you've encountered inside the hollows. These are basically just the archives of all the things and items that you've encountered since you've started playing. In front of the archive is the Hollow Deep Dive System, or HDD. You can use the HDD to sensory sync with the first assistant, controlling it to guide agents and explore the hollow, which is just fancy wording for playing the game. This is the sofa you carefully selected with your second assistant. If you want to kill time or if it's getting late, you can see the moon icon beside the day on the top right, then you can take a break on the sofa. Note that some of the commissions do require you to change the time of the day to start them. So the only way to change the time in this game is by either completing other commissions or side missions and also just taking a break on the sofa. Uh, you cannot actually manually change the time of day. So if you're out of commissions to change the time, then just take a break on the couch. The commission log is on the shelf next to the sofa with the video recordings of your important commissions. You can also replay whole quests with the dialogue and all the cutscenes too. I know all the content creators are leaping with joy because I am. And last but certainly not least, the VR system. This is where all your farming and grinding will be happening. Here, you will enter simulations to receive all kinds of materials and rewards like character materials, talent level up materials, and much, much more. This is like your domains or calyxes from Honkai Star Rail. And the lovely Darth Forte 7 on Hoya Lab provided a great VR system guide that I'll break down for you. The combat simulation is for the character ascension materials. You can also have your own extra custom loadouts so you can mix and match different types of materials in one go. For example, you can have a custom loadout that gives you a few materials for character level up, skill level up, weapon level up, and money all in one mission. Another example, you can make one that will give you lots of materials to level up the skills of fire element characters and a small amount for another element. What you do is select the enemies that have the drops that you want, and you can select up to five. These are all the missions for relics, basically. As you get higher in level, you can make it harder and get more relics. Farming relics also takes a considerable amount of energy. In the beginning, this also only lets you get one relic with 60 energy. When you hit level 30, you can choose one set to have an increased chance at being crafted. The interesting thing is that even the relic gacha has a pity system. You'll get a guaranteed A rank or four star disc every 10 tries. Expert Challenge. This is where you'll fight many bosses to get special materials. This is how you get materials that let you upgrade character core skills like their passives. This one is pretty straightforward. Just beat up the mini boss. Reckless Challenge, the weekly boss. This gives you the materials that you need to upgrade your advanced core skills. This is also how you get the material to craft A rank W engines. Just like the Echo of War, you can only get rewards from this three times a week. Now, let's go over some terms and what they mean. 
characters are called agents. W engines are character equips used to increase the character stats, which is basically just their weapon or light cone. These are the agent's skills. And the agent's eidolons or constellations or copies are actually called talents. Drive discs are like artifacts or relics, and you will use plating agents to upgrade them. Bang boos are the rabbit-like creatures that help in combat by buffing agents or performing different combat actions. These are completely free to play and can be obtained from Hollow Zero and the Gotcha. Dinnies are the in-game general currency. The tapes or films are the Gotcha currency, and you can use Polychrome to purchase more films. These are like your Primo Gems or Stellar Jades. Bupon are the gacha currency for bang boos. Battery charge is your stamina or energy, like the Star Rail's Trailblaze power. Investigator logs are agent level up materials like XP books. Power supply is W engine level up materials, like the condensed ether for light cones. Anomaly characters debuff enemies, and they excel at anomaly buildup to weaken enemies and trigger attribute anomalies to deal damage. Support characters aid and enhance other agents in battle. Attack characters specialize in having high damage output directly through attacks. These are your DPS. Defense characters have strong survivability. They tank attacks to counterattack. Stun characters specialize in building up days to stun enemies, giving the team the ability to deal increased damage. Impact agents hitting enemies increases their days, and impact influences the rate at which days accumulates. Pin ignores a set amount of the target's defense based on the pin stat when attacking an enemy. Days is when enemies are hit, they gain days. When the days meter is full, the enemy is stunned and will take extra damage. It's basically like their shield or stagger. And that's all from me today, folks! So I hope you enjoyed this beginner's guide to Zenla Zone Zero, and if I missed anything, please let me know. If this helped you or you just like content like this, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I will also be making some lore videos for Zenla Zone Zero, so I hope you stick around to hear me yap. I also stream on Twitch every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at twitch.tv forward slash UviTV. So come ask me questions or just come chill with us. Once again, I am Uvi, and thank you so, so, so much for watching.